On Friday, September 30, Hurricane Ian made another landfall in coastal South Carolina, destroying apart piers and filling neighborhoods with calf high water after the storm caused major damage in Florida. Ian's maximum sustained winds were 85 miles per hour when it came ashore and battered the state with damaging winds, heavy rain and storm surge. Ian Center came ashore near Georgetown with much weaker winds than when it crossed Florida's Gulf Coast on Wednesday. In Myrtle Beach, waves were pushing against the city's boardwalk tourist area, flowing over where thousands of tourists typically fill the wide sandy stretch. Four piers along the coast, including two at Myrtle Beach, collapsed into the churning waves and washed away. Online cameras showed seawater filling neighborhoods and gardens sitting to calf level. Before landfall, sheets of rain whipped trees and power lines, and left many areas on Charleston's downtown peninsula underwater by midday. A popular pier in the beach community of Polly's Island collapsed and floated away. She kept somebody on dialysis up in here. Moisture from the remnants of the will impact East Tennessee and Southeast and Kentucky beginning late Friday. But as the path of Ian has shifted east, East Tennessee and Southeast Kentucky are now expected to see less of an impact than initially expected.